Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable or disable 5G on your iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. As always, the playlist to all of the great iPhone 12 tips and tricks videos is in the description, so be sure to check it out. Let's get started. So now that Apple's iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, and the 12 mini are all 5G compatible, you can actually choose if you want to have 5G turned on or if you want to turn 5G off. So we're going to start by opening our settings application and we're going to tap on the cellular tab. From cellular, you're going to want to tap on the cellular data options. And from here we have two options that are going to work with our 5G compatibility. So we'll tap on the option voice and data. And from here you'll see that it's set to auto. Now 5G is going to be set to auto by default when you first set up your new iPhone 12. And what auto does, it's going to try to determine the best times to use 5G unless it's going to significantly reduce the battery life. And you can see it does have that little message down there. Now if you wanted to bypass this and always be on whenever possible, even when it's gonna burn through the battery, you can set it to on. Now at this point, I don't think that's a good option unless you're in a pinch and just need that speed. And then if you want to turn it off, you have the LTE option here, which brings you back to the traditional LTE connectivity. Now, when I switch over to 5G on, you can see mine is still at LTE. I don't have a 5G tower or I'm in range of a 5G tower where I am right now, so it's not going to pull that up. But as I'm driving around, if I do get close enough to one or it does pick it up, you'll see 5G and you'll have some other options there as well. Now with that being said, to turn off 5G, you would have to set it to LTE, meaning that it's always gonna use LTE whenever possible. Now I did talk about this in my previous tips video. If you wanna set up a specific button here, you can actually use this button, which is the low power mode. So when you pull down your control center, I've set a low power mode button here. So anytime I want to disconnect from 5G, I would just turn that on. And because the phone in low power mode actually disables 5G, it'll be like a disabling 5G button. Now, if you wanna watch that video, the link is in the description. It's the tips and tricks video. And within that video, I kind of go through this as well as showing you how to set up that button. But this is where you're going to toggle between 5G on, auto, and LTE. Now, the other option that we saw here, if we go back, is in the data mode section. And right now, you can see it's going to allow more data on 5G. And what that means is that it's going to provide higher quality videos and FaceTime when connected to 5G cellular networks. And you can see right there at the top what that means. So if you are someone who just wants quality, 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 especially in your FaceTime videos, you want to allow more data on 5G. The next one is standard and allows automatic updates and background tasks on cellular, but it's going to limit the quality with FaceTime and video. And the last option is the low data mode. This is just going to generally help reduce Wi-Fi and cellular data usage by pausing automatic updates and background tasks. So that's a way for you to really limit the data you're using. Now I had mine to allow more data. I'm just going to set it to standard and that's the setting that I'm gonna be using for 5G. But my recommendation is you do modify these at least before you start using 5G. That way you don't get shocked by how much data you're using. So make sure you set up the voice and data options as well as the data mode here. Additionally, since we're already in this video, uh, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, this Wi-Fi assist, this is something that's going to affect your data quite a bit. Uh, depending on how your Wi-Fi is at home. If you have this on, it's going to automatically use your cellular data when your Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. So if you have spotty Wi-Fi at home, make sure this Wi-Fi assist is off, especially if your phone then switches to 5G. This way you're not going to have those shocks and you'll make sure it's not going to use your data to bump that up and assist the Wi-Fi. So that's how to enable or disable 5G on Apple's new flagships on the iPhone 12s. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it is, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.